Hi guys, welcome to the short video about my experience with smelling smoke when there is no smoke. Yeah, I have this since about seven years, I would say. But I didn't do a lot of research because for me it was very clear in, in a sudden where it comes from. I mean, this thing is called phantosmia or phantom smell or something like that. You can find a lot, I think, in the internet about that. What's strange a little bit when you look into that and the cause here, when you Google for that, uh, you can go down and actually the thing which I think is causing my problems, uh, it's, it's hard to find here. It's, it's a little bit weird. I mean, in general, we can say there are many possible causes of this issue, but I'm just talking about my case here. But when we add fibromyology here in the search term, yeah, that's here, then we can definitely find it. Phantom smells and uh, fibromyology. And for me, it has been very clear that the fibromyology, which I have since about 10 years or around nine years is causing this issue. I mean, the fibromyology started around nine years ago and the phantom smell started around seven years ago. I don't have any clear uh, solution for that, how to solve it, uh, also not how to solve the problem with fibromyology. I mean, I live a really decent life even nine years after uh, I have found the fibromyalgia. Uh, it has even improved a lot, especially after when it was really, really bad at the beginning. At the beginning, it was really, really bad. I mean, I couldn't open a fridge. Uh, with one hand anymore. I couldn't open a bottle with one hand. I couldn't go upstairs. Uh, nine years ago, it was really crazy. And what I have found for me, what's improving the situation is when I live a healthy lifestyle, when I avoid caffeine, uh, means Coke, coffee, when I avoid eating too much meat, especially red meat and uh, pork and these things. I never had any problems with uh, chicken or so, especially not uh, the lean chicken. And of course, avoiding alcohol has always helped me. So this has also helped me around the phantom smell. This thing is coming and going all the time. Sometimes I have it for days, sometimes I have it for weeks or months, then it's going away for days days, weeks or months, it's coming, going, uh, I would say mostly in combination with all the other symptoms of my fibromyalgia. So I'm not too worried about that. It's coming and going. It's not like a steady increase or so, but there's also no solution. I think if, if I would really live a very healthy lifestyle for a longer time, then maybe it would, would go away permanently. I don't know, but it's really hard to do that. And so I have decided to just live with it. And since I've accepted it to live with me, it's a part of my life. And uh, so I don't have a big problem with it. It's just here. And uh, even though I don't really love the cigarette smell, I'm not a smoker. And so I actually more hate it, but uh, I can I can live with it. It's, it's not such a, a big problem. Uh, yeah, that's it from my side. Definitely not a real professional medical advice. I'm not an MD. I don't have a PhD or so. I just wanted to share my my experience with you and maybe it helps you a little bit and uh, yeah that's it for now if you have any questions or comments or your own experience about that it would be really interesting if you could leave a feedback down there so we could discuss about that and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time